Autumn is officially about a week away, and that means pumpkin spice, it means foliage, and it means fall movie season. All right, she's a little excited. I am so excited. <laughs> from horror to Greek <laughs> weddings, there is a lot to pick from this year. Hello. Fall brings big blockbusters and spine-tingling thrillers, and according to a survey from online ticket service Fandango, moviegoers are excited to see all of them. That's right. Well, joining us here in Studio 57 is Eric Davis from Fandango. Use it all the time. Just have to say, Eric, <laughs> thanks for being with us. Thank you. So tell us about this survey, what you learned about the most anticipated movies for this fall. Yeah, so not surprisingly, the Marvels, the next one from Marvel Studios topped the list. It was number one. This is a Captain Marvel sequel starring Brie Larson. This time she's joined by a couple of other characters played by Tiona Paris and Amon Vellani, who we may remember as Miss Marvel. She had a TV show. It's not a body swap movie, but it's more of like a power swap movie. The Hunger Games is a new prequel for The Hunger Games. It takes place 60 years before the Jennifer Lawrence series. The Equalizer 3, which is in theaters now. Denzel I Washington, great oh, little crime gosh, thriller. Good. Good. Wow. And A Haunting in Venice, Killers of the Flower Moon, the new Scorsese film, which I love. Haunting in Venice is in theaters this weekend. All of those are on my top list too. I mean, it's, it, it it just it just it seems like what what is old is new again. Yeah, well, franchises are right, all yeah. the rage now. So, what are some of the big ones, Eric, that we can look forward? Yeah, to? Yeah, well, when we asked moviegoers, and there was a few thousand that we surveyed, the most anticipated returning franchise you see, A Haunting of Venice, Kenneth Branagh, so which I, I like to call it the Agatha Christie Cinematic Universe. Yes, yes. His. Well, you know, he went three was back in the day. It, it, they only did two, and he's gone one further. So, yes. I really do. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, this, this movie is really great. If you're an adult, you don't want to see something gory. You don't want to see a kid's movie. You want to see something seasonal and spooky, but a little sophisticated. And that's A Haunting in Venice. Great cast. Tina Fey, Michelle Yeoh, Kenneth Branagh, of course, is in there. Jamie Dornan is in there. And it's, you know, um, seance, murder mystery, Venice. <laughs> and it's Agatha Christie. And it's yeah. Agatha Christie. <laughs> and her cute plot wow. Well, exactly. we've seen what the Fandango posts are saying, but what are you most excited to see this fall? I would say my most anticipated, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, the Martin Scorsese mm. film, which I mentioned. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro. Both men have starred in multiple Scorsese films. This is the first one where they're together. I think it's going to be a big Oscar contender. It's also based on a real-life story. This is the biggest case, the first big case the FBI took on in the Osage Nation, uh, a serial murder, kind of out. Greedy oil is involved, but really great performances across the board. I really like that. Really about the evils of mankind, really preying upon a people they'd already really screwed over, I'd have to say. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But, Lily Gladstone, uh, really good in that one as well. Uh, and based on a David Grant novel, and he's, I get to interview him on Monday. Because really? I'm doing a piece on it, which is why I'm all over She's it. She's all over it. Haven't yeah. seen the movie yet, but Eric, uh, it, it, it looks like it's going to be fantastic. It looks great. And if you're a horror hound, The Exorcist Believer, there's a sequel to The Exorcist, or a re requel, Ellen Burstyn returning. You know, that 78 film, Arguably the scariest movie of all time. Yeah. This one ups it. There's like a dual possession. Oh, it no. looks just as scary. That okay, what creeps me out thinking about it? Yeah, actually. I just but the, you know, oh, the, gosh. the two girls are rescued in the end, right? I well, I don't know if they're Do rescued. They're right? <laughs> the trailer don't, doesn't don't, go don't, that don't. route. Doesn't, but yeah, this looks. This look is good. from the guy that did <laughs> the recent Halloween movies. If you remember those, yeah. David Gordon Green. Uh, so he's used to kind of reviving these franchises, adding a modern day spin. I like the dual possession yes. because it opens up complications. Multiple families mm. are involved. What if you believe in different things? So I think a lot of that is going to be explored in this sequel. And okay. it, it appears there's a choice mm. to be made. There is mm. a choice. Dun, 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 dun. That one's not going to be on my list. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> Eric Davis, though, always wonderful to see you. Thank you so much, always Eric. Always a treat.